We start today's show with a touch of class, gliding through the woods in Lexus's new hybrid engine sedan, the IS300H. The luxury car maker is hoping the new range will help it replicate success in North America across the pond. Lexus's Sandra Tibor says they have a development center near Brussels where various parts of cars are tuned to fit the needs and demands of customers in different countries. The front of the new bodywork is especially striking. The grille with large air inlets shows off the brand's new look. The car's just over four and a half meters long. Small wings on the door pillars and tail lamps are designed to make the IS more aerodynamic. With a turning circle of 11.2 meters, the car maneuvers well. Our test driver Montes Curat is putting the IS through its paces. He's testing the F Sport model with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine combined with an electric motor. Together, they produce 164 kilowatts. The car goes from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 8.3 seconds and has a top speed of 200. Mata says the IS isn't very sporty, even though there's a dial that switches the car to Sport S or Sport S Plus mode. He says that when he tries to take a corner with a bit more speed, the ESP kicks in. So either the ESP is too sensitive or the chassis isn't quite balanced. Mata says the ergonomics are good. All of the important things are well placed. He also says the buttons are more graceful than in other Toyota and Lexus models. The temperature control is particularly interesting. The joystick operator for the entertainment system takes some getting used to, but Mata says with practice it's not so bad. A real problem for him is the lack of storage space. The car starts without a key, and Matis had to put the key in the drinks holder because there's nowhere else at the front of the car to put it. But Matis says he does like the fabric used on the front and center columns and the ceiling. He says it creates a good impression. Mata says he really likes the digital console, which shows information on this ring. It's controlled with a button on the steering wheel. Mata says it's just a gadget, but a fun one. So how does the IS measure up? With the entertaining and useful extras, it scores highly. The most important fact for any hybrid car is how much fuel it uses. For a sedan, the figures are good. The 300H weighs 1,700 kilos and uses just 4.7 liters of gas over 100 kilometers. As for CO2 emissions, the car produces 109 grams per kilometer. Matis gives his verdict on the IS. He says in terms of the design, he's totally satisfied. But when it comes down to how the car feels, he says even the F Sport model isn't quite sporty enough.